welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Got a couple things on the docket for today. I'm uh, going to take a look at some singles that I picked up at the local card shop and then uh, have a couple TTM returns to show you guys. So let's jump on in. So first up, uh, we got a Felix Hernandez, Ellen and Ginter card. I thought that one looked pretty nice. This would be pretty sweet for TTMing uh, if I could ever get him to sign. But um, Bum, he's not going to be pitching this year. Uh, he signed with the Braves, but he's opted out of the season. So hopefully hopefully he'll get a, a chance next year to have one, one more shiny moment. Um, great pitcher. But uh, next up, we got a Brett Boone. I uh, just thought, thought this one was kind of a sweet one. Um, I really like that, the Compass Rose hat. So he was a uh, started off with the Mariners, went to Cincinnati, and then came back and ripped it up for the 01 Mariners and beyond. So big, big Brett Boone fan. And then uh, got this for the PC. I'm a big Ozzy Smith fan, uh, 2020 Diamond Kings. So I saw that and wanted to pick it up. Um, and they got some other just singles. Uh, so these ones are um, like 10 for a buck. And so I've just went through and found a bunch. So, uh, these are ones for the, yeah, found a couple players that I know that do current players at TTM. And so, um, eventually try to send these ones out maybe when they start signing again, maybe spring training next year, but, uh, Nick Anderson for the Rays, uh, Nate Lowe for the Rays as well. So I've seen people get returns from both of them. So, Got a couple different choices. Um, Danny Jansen, I, I had one other like 19 archives, but it had the signature on there. So I'm like, oh, I'll pick up some Danny Jansen. And then I was like, I'm just gonna pick up a bunch. And then I could see which one's awesome. Like this one's sweet. He's got you know dirt stains, um, Gypsy's Queen rookie card. Um, I'm really actually liking the, the Tops Fire recently. Um, it's pretty nice. Bowman Platinum. And then uh, Bowman Rookie Card, Bowman Chrome Rookie Card, and then uh, 2020 Tops, and then 2020 Gold Card. So that one's numbered, which is pretty sweet. And then just, yeah, I got some other Bowman Cards. Um, so, so it's kind of fun going, uh, just picking these up, you know, kind of getting some of my favorite players um, and not, you know, spending a ton for it. And then not getting disappointed by getting a bunch of rando players. Uh, that you don't you've never heard of so uh nick mandrigal i think he's going to be a sleeper uh nate pearson i feel like i feel like no one's really talking about him but he's like the number one pitching prospect in the majors i've got a joey vados so this is 2020 bowman um yeah i mean i haven't been able to find all this and i don't you know i i get my autographs from ttm so i'm just like picking up the uh the commons and because they look cool Cabrian Hayes, I believe that, yeah, it's Charlie Hayes's son, which is kind of cool. And then got a bunch of these uh, 85 tops from uh, 2020, which I thought were pretty awesome. This is a sweet, I love that kind of Kelly Green A's get up that they got going on. So um, yeah, and, and too, you know, like when I'm buying packs, normally I'm looking for these cards anyway. So I'm like, I might as well just pick up all the ones that I want. So I have Matt Chapman, Strasburg, um, Chris and Brian All-Star, and then a Topps Chrome. This is from last year, the 84 design, a Jake Bowers sparkly card, which is cool. And then these are the ones from the, like the silver packs. Um, and so I've got a bunch of those. So Al Adbert Alze, Randy as, you know, his, his name, uh, Joey Votto, and then a Anthony Rizzo. So, yeah, so that's what I picked up. Um, got, got a bunch of other ones, but um, take a look at those ones first. And then these are, I got three returns here, and these were from uh, pre-YouTube. And so um, I started TTMing in, uh, well, you can see here, October 2019. So, last fall and uh yeah had never never shown these ones I, I may have shown a couple cards just here and there um but wanted to go on these ones so the first one you can see too got some trying to use up some old stamps so pretty awesome there so first one up we have is greg gagney 
So he played for the Twins, uh, Royals, and Dodgers. Um, but I mostly, you know, remember him with the Twins, um, the 91 uh, World Series. That's kind of when I, yeah, I, I mean, 89 World Series is the first one I watched, but that, that one, 91, is kind of an instant classic of seven games. Um, so pretty awesome there. So got the 91 Leaf, uh, 91 Fleer Ultra. Underrated set in my book, even though it's probably, I think people think it's kind of lame, but that's okay. And got a little, got a little bit of ink on there, but that's okay. And then 89 Donruss. And then 89 tops. So this is the first return that I got. Um, so, uh, you know, I see he has like 100%, you know, return rate. So I'm like, I'm gonna go with the safe bet and get some great Gagney cards. So, um, but yeah, he actually, he was, he was kind of a, uh, mostly known for his defense. He actually had more defensive war than offensive war for his career, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then also the other thing he's known for is in game one of the 1989, or no, sorry, 91 World Series, he hit a three-run homer. Twins leading one to nothing, fifth inning, first and third, nobody out. Pretty well hit. This ball is going to go. Pretty awesome there. So next one up is from Santa Barbara, California. So this one is Bryn Smith. So he was a pitcher, pitched for the uh, Expos, Cardinals, and uh, Rockies. And he was actually the first, um, won the first game for the Rockies in their history, which is kind of interesting. But he's got like, sweet signature um really like his his signature so i was excited to get this one back um so this is 90 score also to you know the powder blue uh expos i'm all about that so um anytime i can get those that is a win for me so got uh 90 score 90 tops 90 donruss diamond kings which is a pretty awesome one and then the 87 tops. This was like one of the one 87 tops that I had. Um, I just got a collection from a friend and he's got a bunch. So now I have like a complete set of 87, but uh, before that I probably had like 50 cards and this is one of them. So that one turned out pretty awesome. And then uh, this 90 upper deck, um, which I thought was sweet just cause he's batting. Um, he actually uh, was not a very good batter in his day. Uh, he hit 153, 199, 196 triple slash line. But for his career, he had one war. So uh, even though he was absolutely terrible, he was still one win above replacement uh, for his career batting. So kind of cool there. And then, uh, yeah, then the last one is our 89 tops. So pretty sweet returns. Really like his autograph. Um, I might try, I mean, the, I feel like I kind of got these four cards are kind of like super money. So not sure if, you know, I might send to him again just because he's got an awesome signature, but cool. So that's Bryn Smith. And then our last one for today is from Daniels, New Jersey. So this was double wedding uh stamps i realized i didn't need to put both of those on and i could just get a 15 cent stamp and only pay four more cents but alas that was past past andy and now current andy knows better so uh yeah so we have dan plesak so he was uh he pitched for a bunch of teams primarily for the brewers that's kind of where he uh made his name but he was a closer for them um the late 80s three-time all-star um yeah so we got the 91 upper deck the 89 donruss with the awesome brewers logo there got the 89 score 
and then the last one is our 89 tops so um yeah so he interesting fun fact about him he never he pitched for 18 years never on the dl which is pretty awesome um and he's also the uncle to zach plesak who uh he pitches for the indians right now so um which is kind of cool so i, I was listening to a, a broadcast he, and he's also actually he's a broadcaster for mlb network and so i was listening to a broadcast and he um was talking about watching his watching his nephew pitch and it was it was pretty awesome so cool well that's what we got for today some lcs pickups and um going over some old school ttm returns um also too you know that i'm a big 1989 tops fan and uh, i've been working on the 1989 tops retrospective uh, my brother and i put that together um so i got a couple but uh, several more episodes coming but if you want to check that out i'll put a link there to the playlist and you can uh nerd out with us as we look at uh way too much detail of 1989 tops but if you're a fan um go ahead and uh, check it out so uh thanks for watching and we'll see you next time